Oh my god, I filmed this video, like, it was halfway through filming it, and it was just so long that I'm just going to be filming it again. So, hello! I'm going to do my January favorites videos. Don't mind my nails, because I'm having surgery next week, so I can't do my nails. So, I'm just going to get rolling really quickly and just start all over with this video, because I was going crazy. My first favorite is a bronzer. It's the Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer, because I never bronzed before. And this is just what it looks like. It's in the same look because it came out with new ones. They're kind of shimmery, but on your face it looks matte, so I really like that. It was only three bucks at Target, and I didn't know if I was gonna like like bronzer, so I got that before I was gonna like buy like a higher end one. And my favorite eyeshadow of the month is L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Rim Face Studio Secrets, Studio Secrets in Subtle Berries. I really like this. It's a great neutral, neutral palette. And then another favorite is this rose. My favorite lipstick of the month is this Revlon Moon Drops lipstick, and it's in Rose Amethyst, and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's a mauve rose color with some blue undertones, and it's really great everyday, everyday wear lipstick, so I'm liking that. And then my favorite mascara of this month is definitely the Rocky Volume Express by Maybelline. It hides and waterproof, it just makes your lashes so long, and I just love it so much. This might take the place of the mega plush, in my mind. Then two of my new favorite products are, because I'm trying out higher end products, because I'm mostly just at a drugstore, and I have some NYX, and I have like Urban Decay Primer Potion, that's pretty much it. So, I got this Benefit Core My World, Curl My World little sample set, because I want, heard so many great things about Benefit, so I wanted to try it. So, both of these, are both of those products are included in my favorites. So the first is this Coralista blush, and it's such a great, gorgeous coral color, because it's coral, so it's just perfect, and it's, it smells really good, oddly enough, so. And then, my favorite is the Sunbeam Highlighter by Benefit. I really like this. It's a golden bronze one, and it adds, like, a nice little bronze texture to your face in the middle of winter, because I wanted to be spring. And then... My favorite perfume of the month is hands down, it's not really hands down because I love all my perfumes the same, but it's a pink soft and dreamy perfume and it smells so good. It smells like a bakery shop, with, like frosting and sugar. It's really sweet. I just find myself reaching for this a lot because I normally wear perfume on the mood I'm in and what I'm wearing, so I'm wearing something girly. I normally wear this and it just pretty much goes with any season I think the scent does. And then two, a couple more beauty favorites. And then another one of my favorites, Into the Into the Wild Body Lotion with Vitamin E, the Jaboba and Shea Butter. It's from Bath the Body Works, and it smells it's a floral scent. And this really helps me with my dry skin, and it reminds me of going into paradise. And it's got on my nose. Oops. And yeah, it just reminds me of going into like a tropical paradise. Ah, so kinky. So that's that. And then my other favorite is of the month is this Aveeno Smart Essential Daily Detoxifying Scrub. And yeah, it just really smells really good. It smells so good and leaves your face so smooth and like clean feeling. So and it's and it's new. So it's the Aveeno Smart Essential Daily Detoxifying Scrub. I only wash with this like two days a week because you don't want to exfoliate too much. So. And then another new discovered, other discovered product is these CVS Farming Makeup Remover Cleansing Tablets. And I really like these. They come with 30 pack. Just open up like this. Snap back. And they really get off my waterproof mascara and my eye makeup kit. Which is the main reason why I get these. So yeah, these are working really well for me. And then another one of uh, my favorites this month is the, is the candle from Beth and Body Works. And this, I kind of keep it because it is beauty. Not really though, but it's a winter's night candle, and it smells like seen by the fire, but gorgeous like fern tree there, and it just I don't know, it just smells good. I just really like it. And then on to fashion favorites, and my first one is this class necklace with it's like blush pink, and it's from Kohl's, and it's a Warren Conrad collection bracelet, and you can wear it with literally like any outfit, and you really like it. Another one is this knockoff Juicy Couture necklace that has a big key on it and it's silver and it says juicy and has a crown and a little horseshoe and I really like to wear this. 
I'm going to find myself wearing this a lot because I love necklaces and this is one I absolutely really love. And then I have two of my favorite pants this month that I got. <coughs> my voice is going weird. Is this these Rock and Republic pants from Kohl's. Because, yeah, my if you wonder why I get everything from Kohl's, it's because my mom and sister both work there. So, it's a good point discount. So, and they bring me stuff home. And they're coated and they look like black leather, but they're coated denim jeans and they're they're kind of like navy bluish, but then they're black. I think they're black. They look black to me, but on the inside they're navy blue. They're really dark navy jeans. They're coated. I really like these. This is what the back looks like. They're really nice. And they're just, I just think they're really cute. And they're really like essential. And they're really different than just wearing like normal jeans. And then I finally got something I've been wanting. I got the blazer. And this is from Forever 21. I got this from only like $8 from Forever 21. And it's black and it has like white detailing on the sides and on the pockets, which is really, really nice. I really like this. And it's kind of like, and it's three quarters sleeves, and it's just a nice little blazer that I could put on with basically anything in my closet, and I've been wanting one. And it kind of has shoulder pads, not really, but so yeah, I really like this. And then I'm just going to move on to some random favorites, so we start off with food, because I only have one food. That's right, we have, no, I have two foods. So my first one is, this is not the exact thing, but it's similar to, it's the same brand. And it's these nature, it's the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Peanut Butter Bars. Or they just say peanut, but they're so good. They're, they're just like, oh, protein heaven in your mouth. If you're looking for protein, get those bars. I have the crunchy ones right now. And this is something else I really like. It's, a, it's for your Keurig if you have one. I actually have it right here. And it's a Vitamin Burst Strawberry Pomegranate Fruit Brew. That's so good. And it applies with like vitamin C, so it's great for food. Even cold season. So your immune system all up and ready to fight those germs. I'm liking that. And then, and, um, I have two books this month. I had to read this book for school. And I, you know, like if you read books for school, it kind of takes sometimes the enjoyment out of reading your book, and then afterwards you decide if you liked it or not. But I actually generally like this book, surprisingly enough, for being reading it for school. And it's by George Orwell, and it's 1984. It's just a really good book. It's a dystopian society book, and I thought it was really good. It's kind of slow at some parts, but for a school book, this is really good. I believe so. And it kind of just, it kind of gives you a good look into our own government. So I really, really found that interesting. And then, that was one of the books. This book that my mom got me. Don't laugh at me for owning this. My mom got this because she likes this movie too. So she wanted to see it too. And it's, get this, and it's a, it's a Art of the Making the Avengers book. It's like a collector edition book. It comes in this cover and says a picture of on the side and there's a the picture on the back. This is not the book. The book's like inside and the book has a cover looks like this. And inside it just has a bunch of pictures and like interviews telling you how they made the movie. So yeah, this is really nice to own and like how they create the stuff. And like interviews with some of the cast members. So I really like that. So really I've been reading it and I'm not even done reading it because it's kind of a lot of reading. And there's a lot of cool, interesting pictures that I get fascinated by, so I'm not liking this. And, yeah, I'm going to move on to movie favorites, and surprisingly enough, they're all superhero movies. <sighs> Never would have guessed. So, as we made the Spider-Man X-Men First Class, I got all these for Christmas, and Dark Knight Rises. I really like all of these, because I just love this movie. I think it has so many quotes that relate to society today, and I just really like the story anyways. So yeah, I really like this. And then these two ones do genetics is just funny because I'm worried about that at school. So or like cross species and like mutations and stuff. So I really like these, but I still like this. I really like the stories in these. And I love like the inner meanings of all superhero movies, that's so why I kind of kind of so obsessed with the genre. And I just really love the story, I really love the action in both of these, so it doesn't help that you have to grow up. it helps that you have to grow up with that. So that's good too. And then I have, I'm going to do one th more thing every single, okay, favorite song this month is, 
I'm gonna go with Turn Around by Counter Mayor and No Church in the Wild by Kanye West and like Jay-Z, I think Jay-Z is in that song too. And I really like that song, so yeah, because <laughs> I like rap music, so. But I just really like that song. And um, my favorite TV show this month, I don't really watch TV that much, but it's really like, definitely because like I've been caught up so busy with school. The school, the TV show I've been really adamantly watching, even though I'm busy with school, is Arrow. I really like that show. I've been catching up on it, and I really like that show. It's a superhero show, so it kind of explains maybe why I like it. Another thing that I'm going to do, and people are going to think it's really weird, but I'm going to do my favorite Pulse game of the month every month because I'm weird like that. So I'm going to bring out my Pulse guy, and you know it's going to come with that, and it's it's obviously going to be a win because I'm not going to say like they're lost to Charlotte Bobcats was my favorite game of January. No, it was not. <laughs> so my favorite game had to be when they beat the Miami Heat. Yeah, I was excited about that. It was like at the beginning of the month and I was so excited. I was like, yes, I don't like the Miami Heat, but like if you like them, I don't, I won't hate you. It's just, I, I personally don't like them because you know, Chicago Land fan, they get you at least to have the concert finals, like, like, a couple years ago, so you're kind of mad about that, and, yeah, and they could, they had a pretty, the Bulls would pass by me, they probably, they probably had an okay chance against really against Dallas, they, it was like a 50-50 chance, because both those teams were on their defense back then, and, yeah, so that was my favorite game, because, because, like, you know, Derrick Rose was there, and, like, no, it was like, everyone's like, the Bulls aren't going to win without him. Like, they're not going to be like, they'll be like 8th seed in the East, and then like, like their 3rd seed currently right now, at the, end of Janu at the end of January, beginning of February. They lost yesterday, but it's all good. I'm cool with that. They had like 3 players per, so I'm cool. You were close. I'll give you a consolation prize. But I really liked that game, and I was so into it, and it was like close, very, to the very end. It was exciting because it was like, because LeBron and Wade and Bosch, and I was like, huh. I just get very passionate during those games, and I'm like, yeah. So I was really excited about that, about their win over the Miami Heat this month, and I was really excited about that. Another good game was the Knicks game, that won this consolation prize. Knicks games against the Knicks and Bulls game that was really good. Yeah, so that's everything I'm going to do for my. January favorites, and I know that sounds really awkward, but January favorites, January 2013 is in the book, so have a good day.